All right. Going next place. All right, look misty now. Looks completely different. Can you say it's the same person before? <laughs> Ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation, BD? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. Not about the good old days. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. Didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah, maybe. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. Wanna meditate too? No, wanna read his tarot. Hmm. How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> yeah. People in this town. But well... Hey, Misty. Happened upon some more murals. A little different. These can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. So, saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Hmm. You've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. Oh, something good? Well,. The King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. Uh, I saw this figure sitting there with, mm, don't know, a goblet, maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. <laughs> and V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So there was this figure, seated, holding this thingamabob like a club or scepter or something. The King of Wands? So, that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles and pers- Okay, good or- Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. As you hold but it implies so weird. a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Okay. So I saw a hooded figure, Star War pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise too. Mm, the King of Pentacles, having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that, dangerous fee. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard. I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Mm. Uh, thanks, Misty. I guess. Still gotta wrap my head around this. You know where to find me if you need any help, B. Um. Hey, Misty. Reagan. Sheesh. You're a real chum, Misty. Thanks. Great insights. Still not sure what to make of what I saw, though. Well, 
I think you're caught between strong personalities, warring ones even. They all want to influence you, though not all of them necessarily know it. Nothing new there. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities oh, yes. to explore. Glad to say, mate, this thing. To tread. On the way to either your salvation or doom. The choice is still yours, though. You still shape your life, your fate. So what do I do? What's the right path? Just be true to yourself, V. Your heart will know the way. A life-changing event is likely imminent. Watch for it closely. Just drop a card. <laughs> okay. Well, that was it. I fell apart when I saw you look at me that way. It broke my heart to see. It was a moment of darkness. A moment in time that I regret for being so hard.